Hi y'all, this is Tan. Welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing a flip through of my December daily um, for 2018. So I made this out of just some regular decorative paper and I backed it with some cardstock. This is um, a soft cover and it's five and a half inches wide, nine inches tall, and it has a one inch spine. And I did just the regular pamphlet stitching with some red and white um, twine. And so this is what it looks like on the back. I just left the decorative paper like it was because it, it's so pretty. And I put like a collage on the front, which is basically a dove made out of some gold foiling with some green border and some music paper with some little collaging of some Christmas paper, some lace, and I put a wishing you peace for the holidays sentiment on the front. I think I'm also going to do like a little um, tag on the bottom right corner and I'm going to stamp it with 2018 just so I can know what year this is when I look back on it um, in the future so it is uh, it has some greeting cards as well as some other little decorative paper inserted so um, you'll see that on the inside it's basically plain and I wanted to keep it that way for photos and journaling and documenting throughout the month of December it's a total of 48 pages 42 of those pages are blank so here we go on the inside cover I did a vintage Christmas card and it has a tuck spot in the back so if I want to tuck something in back there I'll still have space to write and read the sentiment on the card and this is what it looks like on the inside and I'll just flip through it here this right here is a church bulletin I inserted it in here I have quite a few of those here at the um, house this is a Christmas card so one side of the card has you know the Christmas message and the other side is just blank so you can definitely use that for photos and things like that I'm thinking about using like my scrap paper that's left over from creating this journal to back like photos and just added decoration on the page. That's what I'm going to just keep those scraps in a little plastic bag. This is an envelope that I inserted in this first signature and there are only two signatures in this book if I um, didn't mention that before. So the envelope, I'm going to also be using that. Every blank space in here I'll be using, even though I have more than enough pages for the 31 days of December. Some days may roll over into two spreads, and so I just wanted to include just a couple of extra for that purpose. But if in the end I have a few extra pages left over, that's fine. What can I bring to him? This is also a church bulletin. This is a Christmas card some little decorative um, stationary paper that I had here at the house and these are just ivory pages here so I don't have any coffee dyed paid, uh, paper in this journal which I really do miss I just love coffee dyed paper but I don't think it would have went with this type of journal for me um, because I'm going to be using it for photos and stuff like that so I didn't necessarily want to use my coffee dyed paper for that purpose and again, this is another little vintage greeting card that can open up with journaling space on the left side with the little greeting on the right and the tuck spot in the back. So that's it for this flip through. Just wanted to show you guys what I'll be working in through the month of December. I'm going to try to do a journaling entry in this December daily at least once a week. So that is going to be at minimum four entries for the month of December that I'm going to record. But I'll be trying to write in it every day documenting documenting something about my family and what we've done on a daily basis for the month of December as well as a lot of photos and things like that so tickets tags stubs and things like that I hope that I'm going to accumulate a lot of that throughout the month of December and so hopefully the book will grow so I left plenty of space for it to expand and hopefully um December will be an awesome month and this will be an awesome uh, keepsake for our family 
um, in the future that we can look back on and flip through and things like that. So as always, I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. If you're not a subscriber to my Bible journaling channel, it's linked below. I Bible journal in my Bible as well as talk about my faith. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and it will take you to my Bible journaling page. And so, um, as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.